we'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper, a gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down he was pretty worried. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. First off, Fly, you'll need a more appropriate outfit to infiltrate the circus. But in order to do that, I'm going to need some raw materials. The trick is going to be finding some quality wood, leather, and metal. Sure. Anything else you want me to pick up while I'm out? Eggs, milk, maybe some wax for your shell. Just get going, Sly. smells like gas. That's probably the guard, Sly. Not that kind of gas. I mean fuel. Well, stay away from any open flames and grab that sample. <clears throat> fuel and fire in the same room. That's smart. <laughs> Too bad they don't serve root beer.
things funny. My instrument readings show this place is producing a lot more power than it needs for baking. Maybe there's a secret donut facility. Maybe you should give the jokes a rest and see if you can find some wood? <laughs> Fine. See if I bring you back any donuts. <laughs> see if you can't stand the heat. Try closing those oven doors, Slide. somehow shot himself in the foot. Oh, oh man. Okay, that was worthy. I guess I'll go. Yeah, I was thinking I should wear some leather boots or something. In case of stray arrows, you know. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Maybe you could get some at the shoemakers. Sounds like it's time for a trip to the shoemaker. This doesn't look like any medieval cobblers I've seen. Yeah, even women's shoe stores aren't this diabolical. There's something fishy going on here. I agree. For now, just find the leather and get out of there. Circus. I could have been the greatest trapeze artist. Uh -huh, sure. Anyway, the tent. And with your shell, you'd be a natural for the guy they shoot out of the cannon every night. Right, cannons. Look, you better go check out that tower. It's a good vantage point, and we can assess the situation from there. Okay, Sly, get up that tower, and you can break out the new outfit and toy I made with those materials. Oh, so there was a reason for that. Of course. All right, now grab one of the arrows from that basket. Try standing next to it and pressing the circle button. Why, that bow will fire an arrow with an attached rope. Use it to create a pathway here. Try to hit that target across the gap. Press and hold the R1 button to draw the bow, then release it to fire. One thing, Sly, I built that bow to impart a unique vibrational resonance to arrows, which will dramatically affect their arrow dynamics. You can even use the left stick to steer an arrow while it's still in flight. It should make hitting movie targets a piece of cake. Wow, somehow this place looks smaller from the outside. Fly by scan shows the ground in here is rigged with motion detectors, which means you'll need to stay off the floor. 
You wanted to be a trapeze artist? Here's your chance. Cool. How does this sound for a stage name? The Amazing Cooperone! Huh? Huh? Right? It's good. It sounds like bad Italian takeout. I'm betting that platform is where they're keeping Gallon. Go check it out. All right, smart guy. On my way. Sir Gallith? My name is Sly. I've come to rescue you. Greetings, friend. But I require no rescue. I am merely biding my time until the uh, proper strategic moment. Yes, that. So, how long have you been biding your time? Well, I suppose it has been about a fortnight. All right. If you want to stay here with the cannonballs and flaming rings, that's fine. I'm heading back to my gang's hideout to plan our next move. You make a good point, sir. Yes! I believe the time is now! Let us rush forward, that we may strike a crushing blow against the Black Tyrant who imprisoned me. Whoa, one thing at a time. Let's just get back to the hideout first. Once Sir Galeth calmed down, we returned to the hideout and got the whole story. The surrounding area was held in the iron grip of a fearsome Black Knight. His origin was a mystery, but his power and technological might was impressive. He'd even created a new type of robotic guard, which patrolled tirelessly and without mercy. Galeth had been captured when he tried to take on these guards single-handedly. Bentley searched every criminal database in existence, but couldn't find a thing. All we had were more questions. Had Le Paradox somehow made an ally from this time period? And how had this Black Knight managed to create those mechanical monsters? When we explained to Sir Galleth who we really were, I don't know if he believed us or not. But it didn't matter. He just started ranting about taking the fight to the enemy and restoring the Cooper honor. Needless to say, the guy was a little intense. Until we figured out what was going on, I could see we were going to have to keep him on a short leash. Fly! It appears the Black Knight has a patrol moving an object in a locked case through the town! From the level of security, I'd bet the farm it's Gallus Cade! You have a farm? Just get over there. If what Gallus says is true, the Black Knight almost never leaves his castle. And when he does, it's only to briefly visit the blacksmith shop. This may be the one opportunity we have to steal the cane back. Okay, time to join the parade. Fly, before you make a move, get some pictures of the Black Knight and that case. We need to figure out who and what we're dealing with. Sly, make sure your shot of the Black Knight is from the front. I want a closer look at his armor. Well, that's a little dark. Too bad this thing doesn't have a flash. Sly, get a shot of that security case! I need to... Sly, get a shot of that very nice, Sly! I can crack that thing with my eyes closed! 
But just get to that case before they reach the blacksmith shop, and I'll hack it remotely. <laughs> Listen, Sir Gallus, those balloons above us are more than just decoration for the circus. The Black Knight can use them to monitor our movements and conversations. Pray tell, how can such a thing be possible? It's complicated. Let's just say those balloons have machines that are like eyes and ears that can detect things at great distance. And you are the only one who can reach them. Say no more. I shall go forth to smash these airborne demons, lest they set their wicked gaze upon us. Find me a catapult and a very large rock. Hold on a minute. First, you should find locations to use your catapult crash technique and reach those balloons safely. Then you can destroy the machines. Uh, of course. As you will. Ah, the perfect opportunity to apply my catapult crash technique. I shall destroy these cursed devices. As I told you, Bentley, a loathsome creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, advanced geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth! Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallus. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Cooper name. All right, there's the cave entrance. Onward! To conquest! Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Galeth charming. He has a good heart. Even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. Cave walls can 
be tricky, Gallus. Be careful. is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel? Holy hand grenades, it's a robot! Gallus, this monster is a giant machine! <laughs> now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallus Cooper! Gallus, no! <laughs> hmm, mayhap Sir Bentley had a point. and a lack. I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... Are you hurt, Sir Galleth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. Okay, listen up! We need to hit the Black Knight where it hurts! And that means taking down the operations he set up in the village shops! First up, Murray, you'll need to visit the tavern! Sorry, big guy, no time for snacks! The tavern has been converted into a fuel production facility for those robotic guards! Get in there and do what you do best! Tear the place apart! Next, Sly, you'll need to revisit the Shoemakers! We're going to shut down the machines fabricating those ginormous parts! Last, but certainly not least, Galeth, you'll need to infiltrate the bakery! My instrument readings show it's the main power source for the other production facilities! You're the only one who can reach the second floor, where I believe you'll find a generator! There's no time to waste, so let's get going! Okay, you heard Bentley. Together, we can bring this whole operation down. Yeah! Let's go kick some butt! Murray, you need to get to the tavern. I think for this one, you could go right through the front door. You mean like, punch through the door? I meant walk, actually. Well, uh, I like to have options. Murray, you need to shut down the mixing system. Try disabling those vats. I got you, chum. The Murray is going to rain destruction like a cloud of pain. Interesting analogy. Murray, try throwing the guards into the vats. Murray! 
Papa Murray is triumphant! Fly, you need to return to the shoemakers. Whatever thing manufactured in there can't be good. Let's shut it down. Consider it done. Sly, I'm getting some unusually strong readings from the upper levels of the shop. Sly, it looks like the bow will come in handy here, but you'd better watch out for that laser. If it slices through the rope while you're on it, you'll fall into that pool of white hot molten metal below. Is that bad? Sometimes your humor escapes me, Sly. Bentley, this place is definitely closed for business. Okay, Gallus, you need to get inside the bakery. If we shut it down, we can bring the Black Knight's operations to a halt. Fear not! Gallus, you need to get to the floor above, but I don't see an access point. <sighs> Look around, there must <sighs> be a way up there. Leave it to me, Bentley. All right, this is it. You'll need to shut down those three sub generators to disable the central device, but be careful. I suspect the system has an auto reset, and you'll need to deactivate them all before that happens. Enough twaddle and gobbledygook. Time for action. Oh, boy. <laughs> Keep going, Gallus! You need to shut them all down before they restart! Fear not! Sir Gallus will triumph! <laughs> Remarkable work! Alright. Hurry up, Slowpoke. Whatever, just don't lose him, Sly. Bentley, he's going into the blacksmith shop. Should I follow him inside? Now, I'll take it from here, Sly. I should be able to get inside through that hatch on the roof. Time to get some answers. Uh. Rats, I can't hear anything from up here. I'll have to get closer without being seen. I can turn those laser fields off with my darts. I better stay up here in the rafters. I can't risk being seen. Decisions, decisions. Should I feed Cooper to the dragon? Or make him into a rug? Maybe I'll feed him to the dragon first. Make him into a rug with the leftovers. <laughs> No way I'm letting this guy get his hands on Sly. We have to stop him. I really should add a refrigerator to this armor. Or at least some kind of cooler for drinks. It gets so thirsty walking in this thing. Hmm, a refrigerator. Not a bad idea. 
I wonder if I could fit one on this chair. Blasty Cooper gang. They may have shut down operations for the time being, but I'll have the last laugh. My castle is impenetrable. Once Operation Overlord is complete, I will be unstoppable. Operation Overlord? I don't like the sound of that. the paradox when they need his help. He owes me everything for stealing Bentley's time machine plans. Bentley? Oh, Penelope, what a little fool you are. Oh, no. My plans? That means I caused all this? Penelope! Oh, please, Penelope, be all right! I swear on my mother's shell I will crush you myself, Black Knight! Time for a binary beatdown! that thing. It's not possible! Phew! That thing's almost as stuffy as Bentley. Penelope? Oh, but why would she... If only Bentley hadn't been brainwashed by Cooper's honorable thief nonsense, we could have made billions in weapon design, the two most brilliant minds on the planet working together. We could have owned the world! But no matter. Once Cooper's out of the way, he'll see things my way. Poor Bentley. He's kinda cute when he's being dumb. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. When Bentley returned to the hideout, he crawled into his shell and wouldn't come out. Nobody could blame him. Penelope may have betrayed our friendship and trust, but she betrayed Bentley's heart. I knew he blamed himself for the whole predicament, but it wasn't his fault. Everyone took turns trying to coax him out, but nothing worked. In the end, it seemed that Bentley would have to come back to us on his own. Unfortunately, we couldn't wait around. We had a villain to take down, with or without Bentley's help. And this time, it was personal. We need to take Penelope down, but how? Man, we need Bentley back. I am still a bit bewildered that the Black Knight was a friend of yours. Yeah, well, obviously she's no friend of ours now. In the face of such treachery, there is but one option. We storm the castle and smash this villain! Okay, slow down, Turbo. How do we get inside the castle? That? I know not. However, I do know how we may create some exceedingly useful explosive devices. You and I must part ways. I will gather fire bulbs while you must procure a bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Of course. And where would I get this? Why, at the carnival, of course. I hope your archery skills are satisfactory. Oh, I think I'm up to snuff. Then the die is cast! Fare thee well! Ha-ha! <laughs> 
I seek the elusive fireball. I hope Sly has given his archery much practice. Step right up, ladies and gents. Try your luck in our game of steel. Well, hello, Governor. Want to have a go? Do well enough, and you could win yourself one genuine bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Guaranteed to cure despair, curl your hair, and answer your prayer. So, how is it for making bombs? I get it some fire bulbs in its bang zoom combustion. Brilliant shooting, boy! All right, troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Galleth, wait! Why, thank you, Galleth. I've been looking all over for that. <laughs> she is making her escape! Don't think so. what that suit was worth? It was one of a kind! You cost me too much already, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. 
That's enough, Penelope! Huh? You heard me. Bentley? Your suit, is that my... my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it, anyway. The design was... adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype, anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course! I had to make you see how things could be! I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential! Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. Then I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley. And we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. Yeah.